Hi everyone. Today we're going to help you understand how to benefit from Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps from the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. As you probably noticed, all the features of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps are now integrated in this Microsoft 365 Defender portal, which also includes Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Office, and other security products. Let's review together how to investigate a simple alert. Going to the old portal, you're familiar with this alert page, and let's click on the first alert here. If you're not familiar with this page, it shows you the details of the alert, such as the IP address, the user that is impacted, and which step of the MITRE framework is it part of. Now let's try to review the exact same thing from the new portal. First, when you look in the menu, you see that there's a concept of alert, but also a concept of incident. Today we're going to focus on incidents because that's really the best practice to investigate what comes out of the Microsoft Defender Suite. All these incidents are probably important, but today because we're focusing on Defender for Cloud Apps, we're going to filter for the incidents that contain elements coming specifically from Defender for Cloud Apps, as you can see here. One incident is left, and if we click on the little arrow on the side, you can see that a number of different alerts are part of that incident. Let's click the details. Now the incident, as you see here, contains much more information than the alert as we saw it previously. We start with the attack story. In this attack story, we can see exactly what started the incident. And in that case, these are alerts coming from other security products at Microsoft. Scrolling down, we can see a full list of incidents, some of them coming from Defender for Endpoint, others Defender for Identity. And at the bottom here, we see our alert coming from Defender for Cloud Apps. We can see exactly the same details as before. And as added value, you can position within the attack map where this alert takes place. Finally, now that we have seen that each alert is part of an incident, well, it's time to also look at the details of the alert itself. So let's go back to our favorite alert that we're using here as a sample. And you can see that all the details we had in our older portal are still here. The dates, the details, the impacted users, the exact same description as you can see here. And on top of that, you also have this impacted asset category that is quite important. It shows you the, uh, the user impacted, it shows you the app impacted as well, uh, and you have all the details here to, uh, to investigate. Once this is done, you can click on the Manage Alert button and mark the status as resolved uh, or in progress as per your, uh, your work and your decision. And you can also classify what type of alert that was, if it was a true positive, a false positive, etc.